Welcome back everyone. Got another video for here today. Today I'm going to mow the barren brug right here for the first time today. So let's get started. <laughs> If you've been following my channel, you know that I put down the Mountain View seed in my front yard and in my backyard right here. I put down the Baron Brug RPR. It's a perennial ryegrass. I usually tend to keep this a lot lower than my front yard. Obviously, tall fescue likes to be cut tall. But as you can see, it's filled in very nicely. Um, I didn't know, do any kind of kill off or anything in this backyard. Um, I just pretty much just threw the grass seed down, put some peat moss on top, obviously some starter fertilizer, Sorry for that noise in the back, that's the pool. Um, but again, I just threw down the seed. Uh, there's obviously some crabgrass throughout here, some weeds, I really don't care. I just wanted to thicken this up a little bit with some grass underneath. Um, it definitely filled in in certain spots throughout the yard. But as you can see, it's nice and green, it's looking great. Um, again, perennial ryegrass, it comes in a lot faster than tall fescue. Um, so this stuff back here, it's ready to grow. Uh, ready to grow, it's ready to be cut. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I will probably be cutting it probably at about two inches on my Toro Super Recycler. Um, and then again, I'll probably be hitting it with another dose of starter fertilizer like I did in my front. And on day 15, this is obviously day 15 germination right here for the perennial ryegrass. So again, we're going to cut it, starter fertilizer, and keep on watering it. So I got the Toro Super Recycler right here behind me. I have it on letter uh, C right here. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty good on the first cut. Um, first couple passes that I did right here. Um, but I think I'm gonna drop it down one more notch to letter B. Just wanna get it a little bit shorter so we can start having that blade uh, tiller out a little bit better um, with the perennial rye. But overall, I'm pretty happy. Um, it's thickening up pretty well out here in certain spots. Um, it obviously is a little bit thin. I don't have any irrigation in my backyard. Um, I just use a regular impact sprinkler back here to water everything in. But for the most part, overall, the grass has definitely come out, come up in the spots that I wanted. And so overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Let's try that again. So just a quick video today guys just got done cutting the perennial ryegrass back here again sorry for the noise the pull filter still going still pretty hot here in jersey and uh sometimes it's nice to take a dip in that pool when it's hot out but again just cut the perennial ryegrass back here it is a regenerating perennial ryegrass and what that means is it has uh, rhyme zones that kind of they can spread throughout the uh, yard so it's like a Kentucky brew, uh, bluegrass um, barren brug I think it's a patent for them or something um, they call it RPR perennial uh, regenerating perennial ryegrass um, so that's pretty cool um, so again this is my backyard guys I don't do a ton back here I don't have it irrig irrigated back here I probably will never put in an irrigation system in the backyard it's mostly just for the kids to mess around and play around back here and fool around and if they tear it up they tear it up 
I think like a lot of us, our front of our houses are probably our showcase pieces. And for me personally, that's what mine is. My front of my yard out there, it's my showcase piece. Um, I love that tall fescue that's coming in. It's looking really great. But back here, if I get, whatever I get up, I get up. I like keeping it short back here. Obviously, we have our garden right here. We have all our raised beds uh, back here. So again, we don't do a ton back here, but just wanted to show you guys what my backyard looks like and what it's looking like on day 15 of germination with the perennial ryegrass by Baron Brug. And like always guys, if you found today's content helpful or if you like my videos, uh, make sure you smash that like button. It helps out with the channel so other people can find my videos, they can find the channel. And again, if you're interested in the five steps that I did for my overseed this year, and again, you don't have to do all the steps, please, by all means, these are just recommendations. This is what I find successful. But if you're interested in those five steps that I did for my fall overseed, check out this video right here. It's all the steps that I did that I did for my front yard and my backyard back here. And again, like always, guys, if you're new, hit that subscribe button right here so you don't miss out on future content. And I'll see you in the next one.